Hello my darlings, welcome back to my channel and to another video. So today, since I'm gonna milk spring fragrances topic like a cow, as per usual, when the season starts, I'm gonna do the date fragrances because we all need it. We all wanna feel sexy, we all wanna grab attention sometimes, we wanna make an impression, you know? So if you want be remembered, if you want to be craved, if you want to feel like a femme fatale, but not dark and mysterious, like spring version of a femme fatale, you know what I mean? She's flirty, she's out there, she's funny, outgoing, cool. Then probably you will like some of these. So yes, guys, I have some niche, I have some designer, cheapies, bougies, as per usual. So if you're interested, if you want to find something new for date nights or day dates, like lunch dates, I think they are all going to be perfect for such occasions. So yes, before we jump in, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. It will make me so happy and help us grow. And of course, follow me on Instagram. So the first one, we will do this one. And that is Carolina Herrera, very good girl. And this one is considered to be a very good flanker of the original by many people. This one to me is mainly a vanilla rose fruity fragrance and it lasts very well it is so pretty so 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 pretty it's slightly like peppery as well i get a lot of vanilla on my skin so on my skin it mainly pulls that beautiful vanilla with rose and it's just a very nicely blended fragrance that lasts for a long time i think it's sexy very flirty but not juvenile in that flirtiness you know like that woman is fun to be with but she's also quite sophisticated and well situated in life and that's how we all want to be right we want to be fun live our lives but we want to feel secure in ourselves and in our environment so I think this one is very nice if you want to have some fun but also feel quite sufficient and quite bougie. I think that this one is going to be perfect and it's going to leave an impression. It's going to leave a trail as well. So yes, I love wearing this. My man loves me when I wear this. I mean, he loves me always, but when I wear this, it's an added bonus, okay? <laughs> so yes, Carolina Herrera, very good girl, very good one. So the next one is from Mugler, and this is a new one in my collection, and I never thought I would like such fragrance. And that is Angel Eau de Toilette. And this is basically like praline and red fruits and freshness and slight DNA of the original but nothing that would annoy me because I hate the original. This one is just right. It's very sweet though, okay? It's very sweet and you get like um, freshness from apple, soury, very sweet fruits and a very, very sweet massive dose of praline. So if you're up for that, I think it's gonna be your best friend. This one is strong, guys. Even though it's just an eau de toilette, this one is strong. It projects, it lasts, it's fantastic. So if you wanna leave a massive bubble of a super flirty, sweet fragrance, I think this one is great. It's very long lasting, as I said, projection, great. Um, I wouldn't say it's like super classy or anything. To me, it's more so loud and sweet. But I think for springtime, when you are going somewhere, maybe outdoorsy, I think it's gonna be fantastic. And yeah, it's gonna definitely leave an impression because it's quite young, but there's quite a bit going on here in this fragrance. So it's just unique to smell, you know, it's, it's just unique. I really like it. I really, really like it. So it's a surprise for me. 
first surprise of 2022 when it comes to fragrances. I'm an angel girl now. Who would have thought? So that is Angel Eau de Toilette. Uh, this one is 2019 version, if I'm not mistaken. I hope so. So yeah. Let's go to something very bougie. Okay, so if you want to go on a date uh, or maybe you have a formal event with your partner and you just want to smell beautiful, very sophisticated, leave a beautiful bubble of scent but everyone is just gonna die to know what you're wearing because this is usually the impression that I make on my friends when I wear this. It's just an exquisite fragrance. Super expensive though, super expensive, but I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. And that is Fragrance du Bois Siberian Rose. And this one is a, not really a rose fragrance, okay? I mean, there is a rose, but it's not that prominent as name suggests. This one is mainly a sweet tube rose with some leather. Uh, it's also very sweet. But it's, oh my God, this is just one of the most beautiful fragrances I have in my collection, hands down. It is so beautiful, it makes me wanna cry. Amazing, just amazing, guys. I don't know why there is not that much hype around this particular fragrance from them, because in my opinion, it's one of the best, if not the best release that they had. It's so unique, it's extremely classy and it smells very expensive, but it's also very feminine and like, just, it feels untouchable, ethereal, like, in a way, I don't know. Like, it just makes me crazy, guys. This one just makes me crazy, it's amazing. So, <laughs> that is Siberian Rose lovely fragrance with lovely longevity and projection this one really does last so even though it's super expensive it's actually worth it because you know you can smell it all day on you and the scent is amazing just amazing guys it's smooth and creamy and just mm, and natural but yet it's quite perfumey Oh, it's so hard to explain. You just have to sniff it. I've been raving about this for quite a while now and I'm still in love. It's amazing and um, I cherish it very much, uh, but I hope to wear it for some nice occasions when I'm going out with my partner and so on. So yeah, Siberian Rose, magnificent fragrance, especially for spring now. Okay, next one we have, we have <laughs> Armani and that one is from last year and this is Sea Intense. And when I was filming with my boyfriend a couple of months ago, we said both like, this is so sexy. This is a dark fruity fragrance. It is actually at the moment my favorite sea. I do love Fiori and Passione, the original Passione, not the flankers of it. But this one is very, very close to these two. If not beat them, it, it's so good. It's just such a nice ball of dark fruits. It's slightly like winey, you know what I mean? When you make wine, that, that pulp of fruits that are going into the barrels, mm, yeah. It's very feminine and very sexy. I would say not so much for daytime, more like going into the nighttime. Amazing scent, guys. Amazing, amazing scent. So I think for anyone who would like to feel sexy, this is the one. It's amazing, just amazing. Very lovely release. I didn't think I would love it as much as I do. I can smell myself all the time when I wear it. It doesn't really fade much. Very nice long lasting power and uh, projection. So it's lovely, it's lovely. So that is C Intense. 
Next one, I have something for uh, my beautiful ladies who love Middle Eastern scents, rose and oud. Here I have a perfect one for spring, non-offensive, but still there, you know, it still kicks. So that one is from Jo Malone and this is Velvet Rose and Oud and this is beautiful. I remember when I fell in love with it, actually it was in Copenhagen a couple of years ago and I was just so like, wow, I was just wowed about it. Ah, this one is a lighter, less offensive, less glowing spring version of Oud Bouquet to me. Of course the DNA differs slightly, but in general, this to me is just a wearable version of that DNA. It's so nice, so, so nice. It's long lasting, but it's not gonna suffocate anyone. It's sexy, you know, you get that beautiful Middle Eastern touch of oud and rose combination. And you have clothes in here, not clothes, clothes, yeah? Sometimes I know I mumble a little bit, so I'm just, you know, making sure I said and I'm being heard, whatever. Uh, so yeah, I love this one. It's intense. But again, it's not like suffocating you whatsoever. So I highly recommend it. It's lovely. Uh, it's gonna make an impression. So if you are into those Middle Eastern tones, you're gonna love this, especially for spring. I think Oud Bouquet is for winter and autumn and Velvet Rose and Oud will be for springtime and summer nights, perfect. All right, next one we've got my favorite date night and date in general scent for springtime and summertime. I just love it and I've been wearing it for years and this is Dior Poison Girl Eau de Parfum. I know I've been rambling about this one for years now on my channel and for a good reason, it's still my favorite no matter how many fragrances I test. This one is still one of the sexiest one, the fun one, the cool one, the long lasting one. I love it. This one is basically a rosy balsamic vanilla with some like slight almondy touch to it. Just beautiful guys, trust me. This one is absolutely to die for. I love it too much. To even tell you how much okay I think I'm gonna need backup still the end of my days because I know they might discontinue it which good which is gonna basically be the end of me I have to have it at all times poison go eau de parfum by Dior is I think my favorite Dior scent believe it or not I know people really like underestimate this fragrance you know what I mean it's being underestimated in general and I think it's beautiful it has slight Middle Eastern touch as I said it's also balsamic vanillic it's heavy it's dense just amazing just amazing and it's not juvenile at all I think they did a massive massive bummer with the name calling it girl because immediately people think you know it's gonna be juvenile and like meh it should be just named differently. Maybe, I don't know, Poison Night or Poison Le Rosé or something. It would be just better for the marketing, in my opinion. They did a shitty job, in my opinion. But yeah, Poison Girl, fantastic. Whew, okay, what do we have next? Another rosy scent, but completely different. And that is gorgeous for dates. This is Roses Mask from Montau. I do also have Intense Roses Mask, which is very oily, quite cloying. So for spring, if there's a case that you wanna take it to the daytime, I think this one will be better for, you know, more occasions. So Roses Mask, actually uh, makeup by Mario likes it. He, that's his one of signature scents or something. I love this. Uh, this definitely is quite similar to, the, to Intense Cafe from Montal too, but to me it's uh, fresher, it's not as sweet, it's just more wearable for uh, warmer months. 
Uh, you know, if you love Intense Cafe, I think you should have this one for spring and summer because you still have similar vibe and it's just, you know, a little bit more uplifting. It's not as like, ooh, cloying, sweet in your face. This one is a little bit more, you know, musky, like in that musky, fresher direction, okay? So yes, but still very, very long lasting, still great projection, very good fragrance that not many people talk about because people mainly talk about Intense Cafe and I think Rose's Mask is fantastic. So yes, guys, you need to try it if you haven't already, very nice one. All right, so I only have a couple of fragrances left, so stay with me, my darlings, till the end. Uh, so the first one that is gorgeous, just gorgeous. I think I spoke about it in one of my spring videos this year because it's just to die for, and that is Goldfield and Banks Sunset Hour. And this is a fruity, woody, slightly peppery of a scent, uh, kind of in... Uh, <sighs> kind of in the same vibe as Passessoir from BDK, but to me this one is a little bit more long-lasting and a little bit more fun, so to speak. Uh, also, there's quite a bit going on in here. Just beautiful, just, just, just beautiful. It's very hard to describe this one other than, yes, it is fruity, yes, it is woody, yet quite fresh but dense and sweet like there's just so much to this fragrance i love it so much i kindly received it from goldfield so massive thanks to the team i really love them and appreciate them and sunset hour is definitely the one that you have to check out this year it's a new release and it's unique it smells divine it lasts forever like i love i love this it is just amazing it's very flirty, it's youthful but not juvenile, if it makes sense. I love it. So yes, Sunset Hour is definitely my massive, gorgeous pick for spring days and spring in general. This is going to be your favorite fragrance for spring, trust me. This is going to be your favorite fragrance for spring. Yes, Sunset Hour, gorgeous one. And now I have one that is very sophisticated and perfect for spring. So I would say that for daytime, I would go with the original and for dates, I would go with this one. And that is Mont Guerlain Intense. I love wearing this. This one is of course more intensified comparing to the original. There's a lot more vanilla to it. There's also some licorice, but for some reason, it doesn't bother me at all in this fragrance. The longevity is impeccable. So is the sillage. I think you're definitely gonna leave an impression of a very classy lady if you wanna wear this. Also, for some reason, I still don't understand them. Very weird animals men are, aren't they? Uh, but they really love the DNA of Mont Guerlain. And um, even though, you know, to me, it's more of a classy fragrance, they just absolutely adore it. Maybe it's the mixture of vanilla and lavender. Who knows? But it's a beautiful combination, nevertheless. And this one is fantastic. So if you want to pose as that classy bitch, I think this one is perfect. So yes, for all my classy ladies, Mont Guerlain Intense is gonna be perfect for spring dates. And last but not least, we've got one from Navitus Parfum. And guys, my code is still active, so you can get a very heavy discount with my code, which I'm gonna leave below as usual. We have one of my favorites from the brand, and that is Soa exclusive. This one I would definitely leave for the nights out, date nights, evenings, because it is very sweet and quite heavy. This is extra de parfum, so it's gonna be very heavy, okay? But it leaves such a beautiful trail. It is so amazing. It's a, it's a man killer to me, okay? Oh, it has marshmallow and coffee. It is just such a gorgeous combination that you really cannot find anywhere else. This is just a love from the first sniff for me. Amazing, just amazing, guys. This is so seductive. This is sex in a bottle to me. Because of that marshmallow, 
you know it's fluffy and cozy but and sweet but at the same time it has some darkness and denseness it has woody accords it has that beautiful dark coffee I think you're gonna love this you have to try this one uh, if you haven't already guys I think this is the time to use my code and get Swa exclusive because it's beautiful really this is gourmand heaven for all my gourmand lovers but in a very sensual way this one it's not like edible it's more like yes it is a gourmand but a sensual sexy one okay so yeah Swa exclusive is absolutely fantastic and that is it my darlings I really hope you enjoyed it I love making videos for you, so if you have any other suggestions, leave a comment below and tell me which one you will be wearing for dates this spring. I love you and see you in my next one. Bye!